Hi, it's Steve Torso, the founder of Wholesale Investor. Firstly, I just want to say thanks for registering interest in the Wholesale Investor Services. This video is just going to be a short one just to help you understand really what makes WI unique. You know, for over 14 years now, we've been working with high growth companies and also unique private opportunities like fund managers, unique property opportunities, and also smaller micro cap uh, listed companies. And I think for us to be as a business to be able to to be able to operate for 14 years in this area, we've always been innovating in what we do. But I think there's some very key elements which really make what we do now unique because at first we started out as a magazine, then we transformed to an online to offline where we would generate interest for companies online and then we'd invite them to offline events. And then now we've worked incredibly hard on building a software solution to really help simplify and streamline the capital raising process. And, you know, from our perspective, we cross some important milestones this year that really make a difference in, in the way in which we can actually empower our clients in utilizing, uh, in utilizing our software and also in utilizing our service. So the first one is I think it's really important to understand that our uh, vision is creating opportunities for tomorrow. So everything we do is about helping to create something which doesn't exist today and create something for tomorrow. So whether it be every email we send, doing this video, whether it be every conference we run, every whether it be online or in person, whether it be every bit of software we think about, every different tool set, feature set, et cetera, everything is designed with that intention in mind. So how do we help our clients create an opportunity for tomorrow that doesn't exist today? The second one from a mission perspective is about empowering innovation, capital, and ambition. That sits at the core of everything we do. Now, over the last couple of years, we've really developed five key areas which make what we do actually unique. And from, a, from you looking at what we're doing, I think it's really important to understand that what we have built is actually world-class and we've got some unique defining features, I said, which I haven't seen anywhere else available in the marketplace. So the first thing to really highlight is that you know we do have a 14-year track record. We have seen 10 of our clients go on to become unicorns. And we've actually more than that, we've seen over 70 of our clients go on to go through an exit, whether it be through IPO or through merger and acquisition. And in doing that, we've learned a lot. And so what we've been able to do is we've been able to think about how can we actually streamline the capital raising and the venture investment process? How can we actually standardize certain elements of it? Because a lot of it right now is actually very chaotic. It's very, you know, it's very people using disparate systems for different things. And everyone sort of has this grass is greener approach. So, so we've really thought about it from a lot of different ways. So some of the key things, you know, that, that we've sort of thought about is from an outcome perspective, how can we help our clients save time, number one, because we understand as a founder, you've got so many different things on your plate and you've got a lot of different things coming at you every single day. How can we help you save time in the process? How can we reduce your opportunity cost? Because effectively, every time you go to raise capital, there's an opportunity cost associated with that. How can you minimize the distractions in the actual process? Once again, said so as typically when most people think about their capital race, often it's a secondary thing. They've got other primary things they're thinking about. And it's like, oh, let's think about this every one to two years, right? But said so from our perspective, we can have a simplified way where it's streamlined and so minimize the distractions that you experience when you're going through it, then we've helped facilitate the process. And then the last two ones are the most important is that how can we facilitate you accessing investors, right? We saw that as the number one frustration for companies when they're going to a capital raise was the ability to access investors. And then the last one is how can you receive intelligence in the process? Because the reality is most founders are sitting there emailing out pitch decks or posting pitch decks on LinkedIn to different people, different investors and so forth. And they've got zero visibility or zero intelligence about what's actually going in their capital raise, what's important to investors. You know, and it's said it's a very ad hoc approach. If people thought if people took the way they typically approach their capital raising and they did that for you know, their own sales processes in their businesses, that would have very, very different results. And I mean, on the bad side. So, you know, there's some of the outcomes that we've really thought about from a building a software perspective. So where we, what we've actually built now and so in providing the solution that makes us quite unique is the first one is intelligent deal rooms. Because from our perspective, access to data is just not enough anymore. Investors are looking for ways to actually engage with companies over the short, medium, and long term, right? They want to be a part of the story with you, especially if you're targeting high net worth investors, family office investors, even some institutional investors. 
they want to keep a track of what you're doing over a period of time before they before they look to invest. Because one of the hardest things for investors is understanding the execution let potential of an actual company they're investing into. So intelligent deal rooms are important because it really becomes about engagement, not about the transaction. It said the engagement leads to the transaction, but I said it really becomes about the engagement part. So intelligent deal rooms is the first part. The second part is we've done something quite unique and we've actually, we realize that this ecosystem has been built off uh, demo days, conferences, showcase events, um, you know, different sessions, whether it be from incubators, accelerators, from groups like us running conferences, et cetera. At some point, there's some sort of presentation. So we've actually, and we had a lot of different frustrations with different conference software. So we actually built our own and we did it in such a way that it was perfectly integrated into the actual platform. But more than that, you know, it provides real time messaging and the ability to network with investors directly that are actually at the event, whether it be there's a whole bunch of different filtering aspects. So you can filter, for example, for lead investors, VCs, family offices, uh, private high net worth investors. You can filter by sector, keywords, et cetera. So all these different things we've basically set up so that it can really, uh, once again, simplify and streamline the process. So having integrated conference software has been an important thing for us. It's been transformational and what is unique about how we can work with, with companies. Global investor access is another key feature of what we provide. You know, recently we have just done an integration into the actual platform where we've added the investor profiles of over 200,000 uh, VCs, PE, family office, investment managers, et cetera. And also most importantly, angels globally into the platform. It's firmly always been our belief that if you're a company that's in Singapore or in Australia and the UK, you always want to test your potential in other markets. You want to see what is the potential for your software, your business, your, your innovation, uh, et cetera. You want to see what is that potential in another market. So global investor access is another key feature that we've added to the actual software. The next one is our own proprietary investor network. For 14 years, we've actually been building our brand. You know, day like there was one year in 2018 where we actually ran 48 showcase events, right? So we've built our database through sheer hard work, you know, with, through hosting events, you know, across seven different countries. And, you know, so we've in total now, we've got, you know, basically just over 41,000 in total investors inside our ecosystem, you know, and as part of what we do is we want to promote and showcase and profile our companies to the investors that we've been, the investors and also the deal makers and also the industry as well, because we are very well aware of the role that industry can play in working with companies. So we have built our own proprietary investor database as actually part of this journey. And for a long time, that's what's made us, you know, so unique in what we do because of the database and because of the engagement of that database with our actual companies. And then the last one that is probably the most uh, powerful feature that we've been able to add and provide a massive benefit to you as a company is the two-way AI matchmaking. So what that means is that investors can see the most relevant companies for them based on not only just their preferences, but also their habits as well. Because we understood from a data perspective, there's what people say they're interested in, and then there's what they're actually interested in, which is what they look at and what they transact on, et cetera. So that's the first way of the AI. The second way of the AI matchmaking is whereas you as the founder or you as the company can see the most relevant investors for you. And what's really important about that is because it means that you can actually be proactive with our ecosystem of investors. And as we attract more investors into our ecosystem, you've also got more capacity to communicate or connect with those potential investors. So, you know, there's some of the unique features that we've been able to build as part of our software and as part of, you know, what makes Wholesale Investor unique as a company. And I suppose to help understand why this is important as well is we've built things from three different principles. Number one, we wanted to build software that lets you naturally do or lets the ecosystem do what it naturally does. So we know you're going to proactively reach out to investors. So we want to facilitate that. We know you want to do presentations to investors. So we facilitate that both you know, online and then also in person. The next one is we want to build a scalable software solution. So that, as I said, not only can you reach out to investors in your own country, but you can be proactively reaching out to investors globally as well to test your potential in other markets. And then the final principle is, is how do we keep on removing friction from the process, right? Because as I said, you're going to spend a fair amount of time over the next few years going through capital raises. And yes, I know sometimes think, no, this is my last capital raise. That's it. The amount of times I've heard that you would be surprised.
So, you know, the reality you said, you will spend a lot of time raising capital over the next few years. So you may as well simplify and streamline your process because ultimately the opportunity cost for founders is massive. The opportunity cost, the way you need to process it is that effectively the, the time that you spend, right, is not how much you pay yourself, you know, each fortnight, if you are paying yourself, right? Because let's be honest, quite a few founders don't. It's not how much you pay yourself, it's how much you miss out on potentially raising. It's how much that you, how much time you spend that you could have been working on other transactions. It's how much, you know, if you weren't able to get the capital, how much that actually imp impacts your valuation. They're often the opportunity costs that go along with actually not doing things right. And if there's anything we've learned from the innovation space is that all things move to efficiency, all markets move towards things which make things more efficient. And that is the exact same for your investors. So said so the way you said so the way we help people think about it is there's always going to be 15 to 30 investors, sorry, 15 to 30 companies speaking to the one investor that you're having a chat with. So it's like, how do you stand out? How do you stay top of mind? How do you streamline the process for the investor? How do you make it more efficient for them? And you know, there are a lot of the different elements that we've thought about in building the software. So I hope you enjoy your conversations with our team. I hope this video has been helpful in understanding where we're coming from as a company, but also how we've thought about the building of our own software and also what makes what we do so unique. And on a final note, there's one other important aspect that I wanna mention is that when people go through a capital raise, What's quite interesting is that often, you know, you start out incredibly bullish, incredibly confident. And then as you go through it, you get beaten up, you go through this emotional journey in your own capital raise. So what we've done is we've got a library of over 90 videos to actually assist you in the capital raising process. We've built all sorts of templates. We've built all sorts of things to just to assist you so that, you know, it's, it's like often people feel like they're going through this mysterious, dark journey, you know, when they go through the capital raise. Well, in what we provide from a video perspective, I can assure you I've experienced nearly everything that you're about to go through and we've created, and so have our clients as well. So we've created a whole bunch of educational videos, which is, features a library of over 90 videos that you can actually get access to as part of this journey. So once again, enjoy the conversations with our team. I hope you found this video useful and I look forward to the opportunity to work with you.